Their interpretation is they're all aeolian. Okay. So therefore, if there's no lag, time lag, necessarily, no difference in time lags, you know, over the late Holocene. Therefore, if you've got an accumulation of ridges like this, you know, in a zone like we have here, yeah. it would mean that there was greater sediment delivery coming down and therefore was probably wetter, etc., etc. Okay. Then if there's a delay, then it's maybe a drier climate, you've got less sediment coming down to the coast. Right. Okay, so they're relating the beach ridges to rainfall... That's right. And, and, and the sediment the coming down through so catchments. There's a, yeah. there's, a, there's a record of sediment yields to the coast. Right. Now, if you interpret the ridges, say, here, as being a function of tropical cyclone emplacement, not wind, yeah. you, it is the, the timing of ridge emplacement is due to the cyclones. It's not the timing of sediment coming down from the hinterlands. Right. Yes. So sediment, wet climates may indeed bring more sediment down from the hinterlands. But you need something to put it actually in place it. Well, if, if it's just wind, it just goes on right, to the beach. Right, okay. Gets, just, uh, yeah. okay. just straight back up. Yeah. But in this instance, we will have that sediment sitting offshore yes. until this, it's pushed An back event up. brings it in. Mm. Right. So okay. it's the event that's controlling the timing, and therefore there's a, there's a, there's a break in the system, if you like, yeah. between up there and out to there and back onto here. Okay. So similar features, but different interpretations as to how they were but different, put in place. Different grain size. They're fine grained. They're features. fine grained. So they could be aeolian. They could be aeolian. Yeah, right. Sedimentologically, you, yes. you could say that. Right. Whereas here is far, far more coarse. Yeah. So less likely. And in fact, we haven't seen any evidence of aeolian activity. No. Here today, and that's no. it's pretty windy. Yeah. Right. Also, um, if the system is only supplying fine grained sediment to the coast and the beaches are only made up of fine grained sediment, does that mean then that cyclones, if it's still in a cyclone prone area, yeah. would not be depositing the ridges because they're fine grained? Right. That's that, a question that yes. we want to try and answer. Okay. So no matter what the sediment grain size is, they should be pick, being, pick, being picked up by the cyclones. Theoretically. Yeah. But wind could also be playing a role if it's sufficiently fine grained. Right. Because, you know, obviously there are many places around the world and Australia yes. where the ridges are aeolian. Yes, absolutely, yeah. So, it's a tricky question. We're in yes. a really grey area then yeah. where we still have cyclones. It's the only sort of sediment that's available for a cyclone to transport. How do you differentiate between aeolian and, yeah. and cyclone in that instance? Yes. Here we're okay because we, they're coarse yes. and ready. That's right. So normal, normal wind processes can't pick up this grid. No. A cyclone wind could, but yeah. as you said, Earlier, the um, the source area is underwater. Would be underwater during and the cyclone. The winds are far too strong in those situations to just roll it to the back of the beach because it'd yes. be going hundreds and hundreds of meters inland. Yes. Scattered literally and to sort of four winds. Yeah, and puffed up into the air. And yep. And then blasting the tops of trees. Yes. So, so it's not going to, going to roll into a beach ridge. Yeah. So if we're reasonably sure here, then as sure as we can be, that these ridges aren't alien. They are cyclone. That's right. Yeah. And also, we have, we see cyclones putting in slabs of sediment up to a metre and a half or more thick right. onto the tops of ridges. Okay. We actually see it. Right. But we never see aeolian events or any event blowing yeah. anywhere near that volume of sand, right. if at all. Yeah. So, you know... To build them up to several metres high then, you need yeah. a, you know, either a very right. long period of time for these aeolian activity or... That's right. And the yeah. material that's deposited onto the tops of the ridges by the inundations yeah. is exactly the same material as we see in the ridges. Right. Okay, so in it's the of course, ridges. yeah. So, you know, we've got a modern day analogue that we can witness. Yes. That leaves exactly the same result as we see with these ridges. Right. So both theoretically and empirically, yes. we, we see that ways of doing it. Yeah. But, you know, with the coral shingle ridges, coral's available to be transported because the reef is attached to the shore. Yeah, yeah. And the beaches are made up of coral fragments. Right. Where you have shell ridges, the beaches are made up of shells, yes. and there's abundant shells in the near shore. Yeah. Where we have pumice ridges, we often see a lot of pumice along the coast as well. Right. Where we have sand shell ridges, we see lots of shells yeah. in the near shore okay. and on the beach. Yeah. When we come to the coarse grained beaches, we see coarse grained ridges behind them. Yes. And when we go to the fine grained beaches, we see fine grained ridges behind right. them. Right. Where do we draw the line? So there's a consistent pattern there. There's a consistent pattern. Yeah. In other words, the cyclone will move whatever it's available to be able to do. Yes. However, independently, it's much harder to be able to discriminate between 
the process is responsible for the fine grained yeah, edges yeah. in terms of aeolian versus wave. Yes. Yeah. And what sort of sedimentary structures do you get? Do you, do you see cross bedding and stuff? Yeah, you see cross bedding, yeah. you see faucets sort of coming up here, flat bedding at the back and then sort of an overwash facies towards the back of them. Right. Flat bedding on top, yeah. horizontal bedding on top and a sort of an overwash facies going over the back. Right. Mm. Okay, so that'd be similar to aeolian structures as well, I guess, in the fine grain sediment. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Dune, dune forms? Yeah, often with, with bigger dune forms, though, you can get trough cross bedding. Yes, of course. Yeah. And we don't see yeah. that in these. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, fascinating.